Using human design to make career decisions is very different to how we've been trained to make career decisions. If you think back to school, you may have worked with a careers counsellor and had to take a test to determine what career you would be good at. I remember doing this and mine came out as a funeral director, which is not something that I've ever shown any interest in. Next, we start looking at our grades and our teachers and our parents might project onto us what we would be good at um, and how we could potentially turn that into a career based on our grades. But just because we're good at something doesn't mean that we're passionate about it. And then there are other societal expectations and parental expectations about what would be a good career, what would make us the most money. And so we learn to make career decisions with our mind. And this often leads us to our not self um, which is why we have so many frustrated people uh, in the workplace. And so when you meet human design and you start to use strategy and authority to make your career decisions, it can feel really alien to you because we've been taught to make these decisions with our mind and with human design, we're learning how to relax into what we truly want, which is a process that looks very different to how we've been taught.